Hello again and welcome to part 5 and my uh, final video to mark 80 years of a Hornby 00. Uh, today I want to cover um, some of the accessories and the line side buildings that, uh, that were sold along with the, the Hornby 00 series. Right, we'll get on with that. Now first of all Perhaps we should just mention the boxes. I don't really collect boxes because, uh, as you can see, everything is is online for me on the track. But uh, anyway, this uh, this is the uh, uh, set box for pre-war. Uh, a typical example of what they they look like. The pre-war set box. This is actually for the tank. Uh, you can see there the tank. The tank is uh, from what this box is from. Okay, then we go on the the, the individual boxes. Now, um, the early ones were were, were pale. This is pre war, uh, pre war, and uh, and uh, early post war. And then the colours started getting a bit darker as we go through time. And uh, then the stripe box was. Uh, introduced and then finally in, in three rail this is the uh, stripe box with the uh, with the picture on there you might have noticed there's some numbers on the end of some of these boxes they they signify that at some point these were returned to uh, to Meccano for repairs and this actually is a is a repair box that uh, Meccano uh, use if you didn't send uh, your, uh, your 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 repair back in the original box. And when you get to two rail, it's uh, it's usual that they came in uh, in the red boxes. And here we have again the earlier box and the stripe box, and then the uh, stripe box with the uh, picture on there. In fact, this box even has the price there: three pound eighteen and six that this would have cost back in the day. Okay, now I'll get on with the with the line side uh, buildings here. I did cover these recently with another video, but we'll we'll do it again in this video. Okay, um, back here we have the uh, this is the main line station of the nineteen thirty eight series, and across the track there is the uh, is the island platform. In the same series, and uh, just the top bit of this is the uh, is the signal cabin. The footbridge next to this is just my uh, my interpretation of uh, of one that they did make pre-war wooden one is one known to exist. They used it for uh, for photographing in the Macano magazine, etc. And then we come on to the uh, goods depot. It didn't. Uh, the crane doesn't go with it, of course. But, yeah, you can spot there's one or two sort of old dinky vehicles here. And uh, I use. And there's another one there. I use them wherever I can. Uh, this is a what we call a a, a railer. It's for they made it in a uh, plastic one for uh, for two rail as well. And here's a stubby one that I made myself for putting uh, small uh, parts on on the rails. Uh, well, we'll jump across while we're on the pre-war stuff to the 1939 series, and we'll start with the signal cabin there and uh, yeah, island platform you've got the green roof now that's how we can tell the 1930 39 series and there's another signal cabin underneath there and the uh, the mainline station just a slight difference in this to the red the the wall and the actually the patterning on the wall that uh, that is original there. I've copied, as you can see, to 
throughout much of my my layout to to keep it all in line with double O. And then the green roof goods uh, goods yard. Actually, this came in two widths. The the platform. I think in the in the red in the red roof they have two widths, and then they have the engine shed. And while we're here, you can also notice there's a gold label on the on the front of that. Now, gold labels were put to a lot of uh, a lot of their locos as well. And uh, later on, after the war, they they phased them out and went over to a silver colour. Okay, I think that just about covers all the pre-war buildings. Oh no, 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 no. I've got the the main one. Is these two uh, canopies are uh, repos, and uh, this is the original canopy, and it's for the uh, for the city station. As you can see there, it says King's Cross. And it uh, it can be used as a as a terminus station, as I've got it now, or as a through station in a different configuration. Right, then we'll go back a ways and uh, we'll start here. This is the uh, this is post-war now, and we're into the uh, the uh, aluminium uh, buildings and accessories. And here we have the turntable. I'd motorise this one, but uh, they were hand operated usually, always. And uh, there we have a, a height gauge, and uh, or oh, it's the uh, loading gauge, should I say? And then if we oh, we can go right next door. There's the signal cabin it's one of my favorite aluminium buildings because it's very very nice detailed there yeah. i've actually fitted uh, glazing in there you can see myself and uh, and lighting also and then uh, come over here there's a uh, signals there are many signals came in different configurations there were these are on the manual and uh, I think at the back there I have one that's electric, although it's not connected yet. And there we have the post-war aluminium footbridge. That's uh, an early one because there's a little triangular bit just at the top of the steps underneath. It uh, shows it's a earlier type, I think, than the, the later one is... Uh, it's, it's like that, this didn't have the gusset underneath the steps at the top. And now we go on to the, uh, the uh, th through station. In fact, we'll go down this and we can see the through station better down here. Yeah, that was the, they call it a through station now rather than the, uh, the, the main line station. I suppose that's what it was. Very nice as well. And there we have underneath the island platform. And uh, next to the, at the back there, you can see there's an extension to the through station with the wall on the back of it. And underneath the canopy is the extension platform to the island platform. Ah, okay, and here we have the uh, the girder bridge. These were actually made uh, in plastic as well at a at a later date, but uh, very effective. Make nice nice uh, accessories there. I uh, can't see anything else here. Oh, there we have a, a water crane and uh, next to it is uh, actually this is uh, from the uh, Hornby series uh, um, O gauge but it goes very well on the double O gauge 
there's another signal cabin that's a one with a green roof it's a little bit lighter than the orange roof and some say it's because they've run out of orange paint quite possible I'm bound to be missing out parts of his uh, his uh, signal lights they did that one I've actually changed the bulbs so they're a bit big but this one's a better example they did this in different uh, different configurations I have another one there and, uh, I think uh, over here we have a a double one and they work very nicely And uh, oh, back to the pre-war, there were some uh, passengers and station staff. They also made the same ones post-war, but post-war they were sold as uh, dinky rather than double O. But they were the same ones. And there's another uh, dinky early early bus there another adaption in the of a, of a of a footbridge that I made at the back and the back side there I'd like to try and add a little bit of variety and here's another here's a, uh, a variation of the uh, water crane again just a different color again Oh, there's another uh, another hoarding. This is a pre-war one it's again from the series o, o gauge. As I say, it goes very well with the uh, with the uh, double O. Here we have another turntable. I uh, I removed the bottom part of that make it uh, fit in better uh, dinky uh, dinky double o they made uh, they made the uh, dinky made some vehicles especially for the double o range you can see there it says hornby double o on that uh, Volkswagen that was uh, one of them then they had the articulated Bedford truck there and then a flat uh, a Bedford truck that one Another flat Bedford truck and uh, that red pickup was one. I think this was a, a, a comma van, I think, this blue. And then the post office van, um, the tanker, Merc Mercury tanker, I think it was Mercury tanker, the taxi. That was my favorite dinky double O, that one. And uh, roaster, a uh, roadster. And uh, that one's a Ford. In fact, I had I had uh, that model, my my very first car, almost that colour as well, two tone there. And there's uh, the lorry. Oh, I forgot what sort of what we make with that. Uh, I, think it was, I think it was Austin lorry. There's some of these other dinky, like these dinky buses. They they tend to fit in nicely if you position position them rightly. And same that little light blue, that's a dinky car as well. And there we had the uh, Lansing uh, Bagnall uh, tractor and trailer on the working the platforms. And I think we have some, yeah, there's the uh, there was the there we go we have the Massey Ferguson tractor and the Land Rover with the with horse box trailer. I think that's everything that they had in the uh, double O dinky range. Okay, back onto the uh, 
buildings again. This is the uh, now we're into the two rail, and you can tell it's two rail because the, the actually the the platforms are a little bit lower than the three rail to go with the two rail track that was lower than the three rail track, of course. And uh, this is the uh, this is now called I can't remember what this is called. It's not a city station. It's they called it the uh, um, terminal station. But actually, you can set it up as a through station as well, as I have there. It came with the canopy. The canopies were available separately. And here we have the engine shed. And now the uh, the station at the back there now now becomes a um, a suburban station. So this uh, station complex I have here is uh, has got two entrances, one at the back, one at the front, and there's the uh, little plate layers hut at the back there. And that that, uh, that crane there, docks crane, is is again. Uh, Hornby uh, uh, series, how gauge, but it, see, it fits in very nice, especially with the picture I have at the back has a similar sort of cranes in the docks. Here we have more more signals, or electric semaphore sim signals. Uh, here we have a, uh, this is a pre-war single tunnel, they made a double as well, I'll show you in a minute. And uh, the crossing for, uh, uh, in, the, in the plastic, the latest, uh, the later crossing gates. And here we are, I haven't covered that one, they, they also made one in aluminium. Much nicer, I think, than the plastic one. And now the goods yard. This came with the crane on. Still trying to spot some things. These are typical of the uh, the switches that uh, for operating points and controlling the power for the, the Hornby switches. I oh, know there's one over here we missed. It's the uh, TPO uh, TP, TPO apparatus. The, uh, the post office. This picks up and. And uh, it's where the uh, here's a better one. Mail bags from the uh, post office uh, railway car or the travelling post office TPO. Okay, back over this side. Here we have the, uh, the pre-war double tunnel. I'm sure I've missed a whole bunch, but uh, that's about it. Okay, and while I'm here, let me just uh, pick up on this. Uh, many of these uh, locos, wagons, etc., came in several variations. And uh, this is typical of one here. This uh, this uh, this Athol here is uh, known as the yellow nameplate Athol. It's just a variation of the of the of the, uh, of the other types. There's many types. 
they were made over several years and so they were changing things the one next to it is actually an athol that was sent back uh, to uh, to hornby repair and uh, they couldn't repair it so they uh, they gave a montrose body and painted it as an athol put the nameplate on you could tell that because it has the smoke defectors right there ah the tunnel there we have the, the plastic single tunnel next to that we have a, a dinky a dinky toy crane again it goes very nicely with double over i missed uh oh, the, the engine shed and uh, this is a one engine shed and two extensions made up to uh, to make one large engine shed uh, I know I missed out something here right at the back there is, uh, is, a, is a tunnel portal and around the other side of my tunnel I have the double tunnel also in the plastic series I think that just about covers it all thank you very much for watching my series and uh, I suppose it's a happy 80th birthday to uh, to Hornby Double O. Thank you. Goodbye.